Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today we will talk about biomechanics of horse and horse rider. Horse work cycle. Horse body are enormously flexible. They are stretching and compressing all the time, like an accordion. Here is the real leg pattern. Start with the contact, pass position in the middle. Here's the down and here's the up. Now here is a front leg pattern. It have the same pattern as the rear leg, but it doesn't go as far down or as far up. Now let's put them together and we see that the rear of the hose is up as the front of the hose is down and at the same time head goes up. The power comes from the rear. The weight goes down then pushes up. Drop to the contact, continue down and push up again. The diagram shows the interactions of the seat with these two stages when the rider is starting from the basis of an upright. It, where there is little core engagement. The first phase is when the heel leg reaches under the horse body and lands, and the other phase is when the heel leg pushes back and stretches out behind the horse's body. When the heel leg pushes out behind and the horse's pelvis disengages, this seat provides no resistance and is drawn into the four seat positions by the powerful forces of the horse's movement. Before engage seat, the rider is coming from the basic dynamic of the stuck pelvis. In this position, when the heel leg reaches under the seat with a stretching of the lumbar back and lifting of the pubic arch, then follows into the accompanying tuck of the horse pelvis and allowing the horse to step further underneath his body. Clearly, with the engaged seat, there is still a change in orientation in both horse and human pelvises between the two phases of the stride. But even the relatively small postural influence of the engaged seat on the horse, it resulting in a slight change in the horse pelvic orientation. Therefore, the postural influence of the engaged rider is not by any means a rigid or unyielding influence. It is a dynamic interaction with the horse movement, but what it promotes is the consistency of the horse ability to lift the back and maintain transmission of power from haunches through to contact. Biomechanics of the bend of horse and horse riding. There are two types, which is first true bending and second false bending. True bending, the rider flexes the horse body into alignment with the bend. Action of the hind leg follow the direction of horse body, then it allowing the energy that generates to be transmitted forwards towards each foreleg. True bending is the key to the longitudinal stretch which leaves the horse spine into healthy and strong posture for carrying a rider. False bending, the energy generates by the inside hind leg tends towards the outside shoulders via natural rotation of horse rectitude to the outside and the inside hind leg pushes off. This flow of energy being misaligned with the direction of horse body then creates a continual unbalanced force. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like our video and leave some comment.